what characterizes what we're doing and what makes it all so interesting is we're doing historical archaeology and that means that we have written sources. The saga tells us there was a farm site here, they tell us it was a very important farm site right at the time that Iceland moved from paganism to accepting a new religion. This is where the saga tells us the great hero Eil lived. Mosfell is a Viking landscape because it was settled right in the early part of the Viking period. Iceland was discovered about the year 850, that's 50 years into the Viking Age, and by the 870s the first colonists came. It was a small group of people from different parts of Scandinavia. What the settlers found was a huge, totally uninhabited island. The settlers who came to the Mosul Valley in the 10th century had the basic tools that they could carry with them in their ships. They had herding animals. The Mosul Valley is a valley which has been fertile and which has been inhabited from the very start until the 20th century where it remains an important valley. The Mosfeld Archaeological Project is a multidisciplinary attempt to understand life in the Viking Age in Iceland, in Scandinavia, in Northern Europe. Uh, is it on this side of the grave? Yeah, no, that side. That side. Corner? And you see, yeah, I see the corner and the stones. It's a little box. Yeah, and this one's the size of the mound, though. It's going to be the second. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Might, you might find another one over here. I know. The curious thing is that's there. And then we'll soon know if it goes east west. But, and there's one there. And then there's another structure underneath it. Right? This. Right. So where's. Where's what? Where's the corner of that? It's not very thick. You know, that gravel layer is significantly higher than the gravel layer we have. There could be two. You shouldn't necessarily expect it to be level because it just was laid on top of an existing landform that could have could have been the ruins of a church that was right in that trench over there. But you're right, but then the question is, is how much energy do we spend trying to like clean off the top of all the rock if that's the case? The further we go, the more we unearth different structures, the more complex it gets. It's like getting handed five pieces of a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle with no pictures on them and having to say what the entire picture is.